Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Jeff, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you the latest cryptocurrency analysis. Let's dive into Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now, 67,000, basically $900. As you can see, we broke that major resistance, 66,600, and now Bitcoin is grinding its way up to this 70,000 range. So. Here's the deal. We've got these two key levels right here, 66,600 and roughly 69,900. Bitcoin, since we broke one, I'm expecting this level to hold. If it doesn't, Bitcoin could drop back down into that 64,500 range, but this is the next major resistance headed this way, and Bitcoin is working its way up, so it's looking pretty good. We had a pause day yesterday, but I liked it. Now, if we take a look at Ethereum, we've got this base building up right here. You can see we went up, went sideways. We're above this eight exponential moving average. So Ethereum's working its way between 2,500 and that 2,700 range. We are green right now this morning. It's pretty early, but I do like this base that is building up. You know, you would call this a pennant. A pennant is a, uh, well, in this case, is a bullish pennant because you've got this blue moving average going up since price broke through we're just consolidating heading up for its next move working its way to 2700 so i do like what i'm seeing right now in ethereum taking a look at xrp xrp right now is up one percent 55 cents again that base is building energy is accumulating we're working our way right up to this 55 resistance area you can see yesterday we did break that resistance temporarily and then we sold off but i do like that it's green we got some momentum heading into that resistance area xrp 55 cents so this all coin momentum you can see it's starting to grow right up here at the top cardano this morning picking it up everything had been getting beat up but it's starting to grow cardano had been uh selling off these last three days right now we do have a green candle we're going in that squeeze Cardano's levels are 33 cents, 37 cents. We're sandwiched right now in the middle, but I do like that we are green this morning. Taking a look at gold, I always look at gold. Gold's breaking out right now, uh, 0.72%. You can see we're breaking this resistance high. Gold has been looking awesome. For those of you that have been watching my lives, you know we focus on a methodology called TPS, Trend Pattern squeeze for those of you that trade this crypto market or invest that tps system is all you need to know to make a lot of money and it also applies to gold stocks russell 2000 all that but you can see we're trending stacked moving averages to the upside this eight is above the 21 21 is above the 34 we did pull back into that squeeze so again consolidated a little bit under the low that's where you would have entered that buy zone and bam it's taken off right now breaking to another high the red squeeze fire black so gold is off to the races right now this morning looking super strong taking a look at the russell 2000 we like to look at the russell 2000 this is small caps okay when people are feeling good things are going well, the Russell 2000 does well. It's a high risk asset. I look at the Russell 2000 because it correlates with the crypto market. The crypto market is a high asset, high risk, you know? So again, they work hand in hand and we wanna make sure that this Russell 2000 cooperates. Bitcoin will not have a major run without the Russell 2000 cooperating. And look, right now it's up. We broke through this resistance high the other day. We paused yesterday like pretty much everything, and now it's moving. So the next area on the Russell's 2,300. If we break this area and we start to move up, that is going to bold really well for Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin has several layers to get through, that top being about 73,000. 800 but it's working its way up there and if the russell 2000 breaks to an all-time high and takes off bitcoin is gonna have again in the past that's what it's taken so i'm expecting that to happen and bitcoin to just chop through these major resistance levels but looking good right here the dow jones 30 yesterday was up 
Beautiful stack moving averages. Looks like gold, right? We had this trend pattern squeeze. Beautiful trend. Started to consolidate. When that squeeze, that was the buy zone. And we are cooking. So I want to go back to Bitcoin. And I want to look at the 30-minute chart. So one of the things is I like to draw my key levels on the higher time frames. But when it comes to trading, if you're a short-term trader, I really like this 30-minute chart. It's really clean. And if you see Bitcoin, okay, Bitcoin's got something really interesting happening right now. Again, as it's working its way up to that resistance. You can see we got these stacked moving averages going on to the upside. That's good. We've got this high, right? We pull back and we're starting to consolidate. So there's the trend. There's the pattern. And we are in a red dot squeeze. That right there is the buy zone. So right now, let's zoom in and take a really closer look at this. So there's a lot of people that accumulated right in here. This is the time to buy. So you have three times where you really can buy these coins. When it's breaking out, when it's breaking a major key level, when you are pulling back into that key level and you see a reversal, or you can trade that in-trend momentum entry, this squeeze right here. So right now, right above the buy zone, but if Bitcoin comes back in this moving average, right in between this, that's the buy zone. That's where you want to pick Bitcoin up because this is telling you, just like in this area, when it goes into that trend pattern squeeze and you get in, bam, and we fire, that's when you get these rocket ship moves to the upside. For example, look at this squeeze. Bam. So we got this squeeze, position size in the squeeze. That's what's going to sit you lift off and that'll pop you up probably around into this you know, I'm expecting if that squeeze fires, Bitcoin to work its way up into about that 68,800 area. That's a nice move if you're a trader or a short-term investor, but it looks good. So XRP on the 30-minute time frame. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So you can see we did come up into this resistance. We pulled back. We did that double top, came back and tested it. But as of right now, we just cross okay so that is a nice reversal happening on the 30 minute time frame you're looking for that eight exponential move on average to cross that 34 i love this pattern i call it the money pattern especially when it crosses following a squeeze so you've got these stacked moving averages to the downside all of a sudden you go in that squeeze building up energy you're expecting this to fire to the downside but then you get this moving average cross. That is a sign of a reversal. So that's another place you can get into it. And now there's no squeeze, so you can't enter. You've got to wait until you go in a squeeze. That is your advantage if you're a trader. So you want to see these moving averages start to stack, get that consolidation, go into another red dot squeeze. That's where you can get in this trade. Now you are approaching this resistance area. Again, momentum is building up. 55.9. So as XRP works its way up into this resistance area, if we break it, that is another time you can get in as well. So I am definitely watching that 55.9 area on XRP. If we break that, then I'm expecting XRP to work its way back up to that 64 to 60 cent range. And finally, taking a look at the dollar. The dollar's down this morning. We watch the dollar. If you pay attention to the crypto market, you pay attention to gold, you definitely want to focus on what is the U.S. dollar doing. So just like I said a minute ago with XRP, we were downtrending. You're going to be focused to the downside if you're a trader. Went into a squeeze, so you're expecting that momentum to continue. But then the moving average is crossed. That's your entry point. That reversal following the squeeze, you can see that we fired. So the red went green. Now that releases energy and the dollar is screaming to the upside. So if you're a trader and you trade the dollar, you're going to focus on an ETF UUP. You wouldn't get in right now. So now you're going to be waiting for that trend pattern squeeze. Let it start to consolidate under the high, go into a squeeze, position size in the buy zone before its next big pop, okay? So you wanna pay attention to the dollar and it's screaming to the upside.
Now, if you're interested in joining our private members area, we just launched that. Inside that members area, we have a lot of perks. I post videos that I don't post on this channel for anybody else, private live streams, live coaching classes. We go over indicators. Also, I have a Q&A group where I give alerts and that we have a specific trading room for crypto, day trading the futures, and option swing trading. If that interests you, check down below in the description to join our private members area. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out. We'll see you in the next video.